and today we'll be looking at the new B660 motherboard. This is a new MSI Mega B660M Bazooka DDR4 designed for new Intel 12th generation CPUs. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming videos. And if you want, take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profiles. As anticipated at the beginning in this new first contact, you are going to discover the new MSI Meg B660M Bazooka DDR4. This motherboard is just one of many B660 boards available on the market, of which you can find a complete roundup list in the description. Starting from the box, we find of course the motherboard, the quick installation guide, one driver DVD, two SATA 6GB to second cable, one case badge, an easy M2 clip, M2 screw and standoff sets, a mega sticker and the product registration card. The B660 board in question is a micro ATX form factor and a miser 24.4 cm for 24.4 cm. The board presented a VRM layout feature 12 plus 1 plus power faces that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. It's covered by two fully covered MOSFET green grey metal heat sink with yellow detail with thermal pad at the upside and at the side of CPU socket. In addition, there is an AVA that covers one M2 slot. As all new B660 boards, it features Intel 1700 socket that support the 12th generation Intel Core i9, i7, i5, i3, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPUs. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM sockets, dual channel memory architecture that support 32GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum of 128GB for 4 DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2143 to 3200 MHz to over 4800 MHz in overclocking. Regarding the motherboard header, in upside from the left there are 8 plus 4 pin ATX 12V power connector for the CPU, one CPU fan header and one addressable RGB LED connector. After going down on the right side there are one pump fan header, 24 pin ATX main power socket connector, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type C connector, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 connector, and two SATA 6 GB to second ports. In the bottom of mobile, there are clear CMOS jumper, one front panel connector, one trusted platform module connector, one another front panel connector, two SATA 6 GB to second ports. 2 USB 2.0 connector, 1 Thunderbolt add-on card connector, 1 turning controller connector, 1 serial port connector, system fan header, 1 addressable RGB LED connectors, 1 RGB LED connector and front audio connector. Finally, in the middle there is one system fan header. The storage option includes 4 SATA 6GB to second ports and 2 M2 slots. The first M2 socket supports 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode. The second M2 socket supports 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for full mode and SATA up to 6 GB to second and this specific M2 socket supports Intel Optane memory. As expansion slots, the motherboard feature free PCI Express one PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slots, one PCI Express 3.0 for full mode, and one PCI Express 3.0 for one slot. 
On back in the IO panel we find firstly one PS2 mouse keyboard port, two USB 2.0 type A ports, one display port, one HDMI port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 type A ports, one Ethernet port, two SATA USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports, and audio jacks including line in, line out, and the microphone port. And now we talk about of prices. The motherboard is available on retail at a price of about 180 US dollar or 200 euros at the time of making this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you find this video helpful, then leave a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.